How to fix a straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. Did you know that straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome leads to chronic back pain, disc bulges, annular tears, sometimes disc herniation, and eventually premature aging of the joints or degenerative disc disease. If you're watching this video, chances are your MRI or x-ray report said you had a straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. If that's you, then this is going to be a very important video for you. I'm going to show you the most advanced non-surgical method on how to fix a straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. In addition, I'm going to show you what a straight lumbar spine looks like on a model, but also show you on an x-ray. Then I'm going to show you how we apply non-surgical techniques, how to reshape the lumbar spine, put a curve in so you can eliminate pain, avoid premature de degeneration. So if you've been diagnosed with straightening the lumbar spine, then keep watching this video right to the end. You don't want to miss any part of this because it might be the very reason the why that, that you continue to suffer. So watch this to the end and I'm going to show you information how to fix your problem. In addition, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can find a corrective care chiropractor certified by chiropractic biophysics in your part of the world that can evaluate you scientifically and diagnose you correctly and apply the appropriate treatment to eliminate or correct a straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. I'm Dr. Gregory Kramer, doctor of chiropractic. I've been practicing for over 30 years. I'm a certified corrective care chiropractor by Chiropractic Biophysics. I've been helping people since 1989 and I've probably seen over 200,000 office visits. Every year I learn a little bit, every year I get a little bit better. I specialize in corrective care. That means we evaluate your spine with an engineering approach, okay? We compare your spine to a normal spinal model, and then if your spine deviates from normal, we apply chiropractic biophysics methods. That means we do mirror image or reverse posture adjusting, mirror image corrective remodeling traction, and mirror image specific targeting exercises. When we say remodel, just like if you remodel the house, you change the shape, same thing. When we remodel the spine, we are changing the shape of your spine towards an optimal or ideal spine for you, just like putting corrective braces on. So I've been taking care of a host of conditions, but, but I particularly specialize in degenerative spinal conditions like disc bulges, disc herniation, traumatic spinal ligament injuries, both disc and non-disc, from auto accidents, sports injuries. And my primary method of treatment is chiropractic biophysics. So we do corrective exercise, mirror image corrective traction, mirror image adjustments. And for disc problems, we often combine that with spinal decompression. So please stay to the end of the video. This information is going to help you live stronger, longer, and how, well, when I mean that, we want to add to the quality years of your life. Not just help you live longer, but we want quality years, youthful years, vital years that we can't get back. And so I'm going to show you how to eliminate pain, stabilize your spine, avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger, longer. So please, if you like this information, if it resonates with you, like it and share it. And do me a favor. Um, let me know if you subscribe. Let me know if you're looking for a corrective care chiropractor because I'm going to show you at the very end not only how we correct spines and what we do in, in our office to eliminate pain, stabilize your spine, avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger, longer, but we're also going to show you how you can find someone in your area. So do me a favor, like it and share it. Also, tell me what you've done. If you've been diagnosed with flat back syndrome, if you've seen your MRI or x-ray say, hey, I've got a, uh, a straightening of the lumbar spine, uh, chances are that's why you're watching this video. So stay to the end. So this information is going to help you get out of pain and live stronger. Longer. Okay, this is a picture of a lumbar spine. Okay, And what you'll notice is that there should be a curve. So typically, we have the lumbar spine, we have the mid-back attached to the rib as a thoracic, 
And then we also have your neck, which is your cervical spine, and this is your skull. So we should have a forward curve, like a banana in the neck. We should have a backward curve called a kyphosis in the mid-back, but our low back should have a curve, okay? And we should have a little bit of curve at every segment. So if you add up all the segments, we should come to around 30 to 40 degrees. Now, I'm gonna show you an x-ray. That was a model that we showed, okay? So when we look at this x-ray, we are gonna start with, this is the hip bone, this is your tailbone. The blue line represents a normal ideal curve. The yellow line represents an individual patient with a flattened curve. Okay, we have a flat back syndrome where this is completely flat, no curve. Now you'll notice at the lower area, we do have a curve, but these segments on top have no curve. So our goal would be to reshape this spine, get the yellow line closer to the blue. It's very simple. So again, this is what we're calling a straightened lumbar spine that leads to chronic pain, premature degeneration, and disc degeneration. And we're gonna apply three different types of methods or three different approaches to correct it. We do, again, mirror image adjustments, mirror image exercise, and mirror image attraction. And we're gonna apply a fulcrum right at this top arrow. So we're gonna apply a force in the office, and you'll see when I show you my rehab area, we're gonna apply a belt that pulls that, stretches, and gently reshapes the spine. Now remember, everything we do, we clear you to make sure it's safe. Number two, we diagnose you correctly by looking at your x-rays. Number three, everything is uh, by patient tolerance. So we start out really easy. We go low and slow. That means very little force for a couple minutes, and we gradually, as you get in better shape, we gradually build up the time to usually around 15 to 20 minutes, and then, uh, and also we gradual put a little bit more force or tension on the corrective traction station. So it's kind of like putting braces on teeth where you gradually tighten up the, uh, the braces a little bit at a time. Remember, everything we do should be within your tolerance. So again, we want to get the yellow line closer to the blue line. We're going to do adjustments, exercise, and traction. I'm going to show you, again, what we do in our office. I'm going to show you what we do for home recommendations called a De Niro roll. And the whole goal is to improve the curve so that when you move in life under gravity, the force is even on every disc level, okay? And we want an even force so your body will last a long time. We want you out of pain, we want you strong, we want you flexible, we want you to be resilient to your work, to your play. In order to do that, you gotta have a proper curve. Think of a curve as like a spring, and so that way you can absorb shock. So again, if you like this information, do me a favor, like it and share it. And also, if you've been diagnosed with a straightened lumbar spine or flat back syndrome, tell me, I'm curious, in the comments, let me know, what have you done? Okay, what non-surgical corrective means, or have you had surgery to correct it? So please let me know so that I can understand what's going on with you out there. This is our rehab area. Remember, there's three parts to improving the lumbar curve if you have a decreased lumbar lordosis or flat back syndrome. This is what we use not only in the office, is what a patient would use at home. Remember, this is a prescribed orthotic. So everybody's different, where we place it, what type, what size is very individual. But again, you cannot get this online. This has to be prescribed by a doctor after they measure your x-rays from an engineering perspective. But this is something we would use at home to help improve the lumbar curve, lumbar lordosis, or to decrease flat back syndrome. Okay, Erica, go ahead and lift up. And then I'm gonna have you place it for me, Erica. Okay, and then go down and cross your arms. As you can see, uh, this helps increase the curve. This, you can see the spine bend around it. We always clear a patient, making sure it's the right size, the right location, the right fit. Make sure obviously they're safe. This is not for everybody, we'll be very clear. Go ahead, lift up Erica, and you can pull it out. And it's that simple. You would use this device at home on a hard surface not a bed. 
So again, this is the home version of how to increase the lumbar lordosis or correct what we call flat back syndrome. We typically start one or two minutes, work our way up to 20, and we always do corrective traction after uh, a warm-up. So think of the ligaments uh, like plastic. Ligaments hold your spine in alignment, and if you want to mold plastic, you got to heat it up. So we do exercise to mold the plastic or mold the ligaments. We warm it up and then we mold it, everything with the traction devices. So again, exercise is a warm up to heat up the ligaments and traction helps mold it. This is our in-office corrective traction. Again, we're trying to improve the lumbar curve or lumbar lordosis and we're trying to eliminate flat back syndrome. Again, the better curve you have in the lumbar spine allows you to absorb shock with every step you take. And a reduction of the curve or flat back syndrome is associated with chronic back pain, disc degeneration, disc bulge, and sometimes disc herniation. So improving the appropriate curve is necessary to have a very vital or pain-free life. This is what we would use in the office and then we also do home rehabilitation with a De Niro roll. I'll have you hold this. Okay. Now remember, everything we do should be within a patient's tolerance. We've already screened her to make sure it's safe. We've already measured her x-rays to make sure it's appropriate. This is not for everybody. So again, this is for people that need to increase the curve. This is the moment that she bends around the forward pole. We are holding her shoulders in alignment, her pelvis in alignment. We always do a warm up to warm up the ligaments. Again, ligaments are like plastic. And if you want to mold plastic, you gotta heat it up. We heat up the ligaments with exercise, then we mold the spine with traction. We start off with a couple minutes, we make sure the patient's comfortable, and we gradually build up over time. We start at two, three minutes and work up to 15 to 20. If we want to increase the tension, then we can make it a, a, a stronger pull. If we want to decrease it, we can do the same. So again, this is what lumbar extension traction for a patient that's been diagnosed by x-rays with a decreased lumbar curve or flat back syndrome. Again, many of you, your x-rays have shown or you've read an MRI report, MRI report that shows that you have a decreased lumbar curve or flat back syndrome. And this is one of three things we do in our office to improve the curve of the lumbar spine. We do uh, mirror image exercise, mirror image adjustments, and mirror image traction. And then we follow that up with a type of traction at home called a lumbar de Niro roll. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful for those of you that have been diagnosed with a straightening of the lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. And if you are looking for a corrective care chiropractor certified in chiropractic physics, please let me know in the comments below and um, I'll help you find one in your area. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you wanna learn how to eliminate pain stabilize your spine, avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger longer, please just subscribe, like it, and share it with a friend. Now, I want to hear from you. What have you done? Okay, tell me about your experiences with straightened lumbar spine or flat back syndrome. And if you would like three more exercises to help with your portion of correcting a straightened lumbar spine or flat back syndrome, just go ahead and click the link above my hand.